Hey friends, welcome back to another live session. It's Mike here with the Metabolic Health Summit. We're with Jim Howard of Biosense, which is a new, what do we call it, a biotechnology device that tracks breath acetone. A lot of people watching this right now, a lot of you watching this probably already check your ketones using blood, looking at beta hydroxybutyrate. So Jim, maybe we can just launch with how is breath acetone different from looking at blood beta hydroxybutyrate? Right, it's a different ketone, so it's one of the three types of ketones in your body. Um, breath acetone is, uh, and has a, a different exact response to food and exercise. It's um, probably a little bit flatter as far as a, <laughs> relative to a more of a spiky type of response with uh, BHB. Um, it's really designed, our device is designed so you can track it all day. So we're, we're really focused on your true metabolic response all day as your ketones go up and down. We had a clinical trial that really exposed the fact that a single measurement per day is not, is not reflective at all of one's metabolic journey. So we're really focused on good, giving that feedback to, to folks all day. That's awesome. So the serial measurements is one of the best attributes of checking your breath acetone because you know, a lot of people don't like to prick their finger you know, and look at their blood levels and it gets expensive and everything. So I've had the device, I think, since the 31st of December and I've been using it a lot with fasting, post-exercise, pre-exercise, pre-meals. It's really cool to see the serial levels to dial in your diet. And so I found that to be really helpful. Yeah, exactly. So it's... Um I mean, it's very useful for your keto diet, or obviously for your for fast, you know, for fasting and tracking that as your your ketones go up. Um, endurance athletes, we're seeing a lot of utilization there. But it's it basically the key thing is it's t using your deep lung sample only. Um, so there's other devices that have been in the market for a while. They're just using a tire sample. So we we close out just and capture just the deep lung sample. That's where the real high concentration is and the correlation to blood. So that's true. It's only uh, the only sample in your in your lungs that would be able to replace blood as a measurement. So can we d describe that in terms of like how to use the Biosense device? Um, so, I mean, obviously you turn it on, it warms up. And w w should I exhale a little bit before I do my breath or is that, does that matter? No, no you, it's, it's basically 95% of your breath is gonna go out the side of our device and expelled that way. And then there's a pumping mechanism and a microphone that's pointed into a closed flow cell and that's where our sensor is. So it's a pretty, pretty detailed, complex device. Um, but it captures just that deep lung sample. So that's the key thing. It's really, really the key technology. That's our, our intellectual property. Ah, that's what makes your device so different compared to the other ones. So, Jim, I, I think I've told you this off air here, but just want to let you all know. So I've tried all the different breath acetone devices. There's a, a bunch of them out there. The Biosense is the easiest to use, and, and it syncs with your phone very easily. The other ones take a long time to warm up, or you have to calibrate with gas, and I'm not trashing anyone in particular. I'm just saying there's a lot of barriers to make this like a habit for a lot of people, and that's what I love about the Biosense is it's like you turn it on, you wait for it to warm up, and it takes like 20 seconds. You can test and retest, and it's very consistent. That's what was really unique. Right, yeah. So we really focused on that repeatability in all of our uh, product development and the clinical trials um, that we did in St. Louis. So it's, it's the first clinically backed device. It's the first breath acetone large scale clinical trial that's ever been done. We have about 80% of the global data right now is from the trial that we just did and we're happy to share that. So it's pretty interesting. Yeah, and if we could finish off with how does acetone correlate with blood? Because I think this is where people are confused. And just a small little side thing that I noticed, you know, testing acetone is, it can be higher after I fast. For me, like that's, that's what really kind of hooked me into fasting is knowing that it's changing my physiology, not just during the period in which I'm fasting, but the next day and even beyond. So anyway, how do people correlate or should they start correlating blood with ketone or, or I'm sorry, breath with uh, blood? Yeah, it, it depends on the user. I think that the educated, you know, dieters, nutritional ketosis uh, dieters following that protocol, they, they already know they have to track multiple times per day. The breath acetone is a little bit more delayed than uh, blood acetone, I'm sorry, than, uh, than BHB. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but the correlation is about 10 to one. We have a, you know, it's, it's called an ACE. Um, and about 10, 10 ACEs is about the equivalent of a one, one millimolar. So it um, gives, our device gives you a zero to 40 reading. Um, so 40 would be the equivalent of about four millimolar. Um, the, the key thing too that I understand though is that the, what you're really looking for is instead of that once per day measurement of whatever you use, it's we're, we track a ketone score. So it's a time weighted average. And if you test five, six, seven times a day, which many people do, you're gonna really, really strong reflection for that day. And then you can look at your weekly or, or monthly metabolics you know, uh, reading. And um, then you can share it with your coach, nutritional coach or whatever, your, your clinician or whoever. So, yeah. Which I think is really important. You know, most people 
people go to their doctor, they get blood work once a year. And the doctor might or health professional might in, infer disease processes from this one snapshot. But, you know, a lot of people can be on their best behavior for the week leading up to an appointment. So this is giving you that real-time feedback. I really like it. The website is mybiosense.com. You're on social media as well. It's a relatively new product. Is there any specials or promotions people should know about? There is uh, through Metabolic Health Summit, so it's MHS 2020. So uh, grab that quickly because I think that's going to be over in the next couple of days. Yeah. yeah, your booth has been slammed. There's a lot of interest in this, so keep up the great work. Jim, really appreciate you coming on. Yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and links will be below.